Banning Quarry. Self-guided trail. The Banning Self-Guided Quarry Trail is a 1.8 mile trek along the Hell's Gate Rapids area of the Kettle River through woodlands and among the ruins of the Banning Quarry. The river offers a breathtaking view whether you are canoeing its rapids or walking along its banks. The woodlands are filled with beautiful ferns, mosses, and wildlife. The quarry takes you back to the years between 1892 and 1912 when hundreds of men labored here cutting and blasting sandstone to make buildings and roads. Beautiful time of year for Minnesota. You can see all the trees changing. We just enjoyed a little buffet at the uh, Grand Casino Hinkley. I enjoyed a little fried fish and chicken. A little chocolate cake, green beans, mashed potatoes. What did you have, Stephanie? Ice cream. Ice cream, you scream. <laughs> fine exercise. Very fine. Very, very fine. Walking the trail in Banning State Park. was a boom town. In 1896, Martin Ring planted a village along the St. Paul and Duluth Railroad to honor the industry. Ring named the village and streets after railroad officials. At its peak, Banning had a population of about 300 and was home to several businesses. Modern construction of steel and concrete soon replaced stone and by 1905, quarry operations had ceased. Banning's population dwindled until its final abandonment around 1918. Removing the stone, discover the banning quarry. A stationary derrick crane would move stones anywhere within its radius. The 80-foot tall mast was supported by cables that were anchored into the rock. Each derrick had a 20 to 40 horsepower electric hoist engine lifting up to 8,000 pounds. In the early days of this quarry, drilling was done by hand. The derrick cranes and sawmill were powered by mules. Later technology allowed the use of steam, compressed air, and electricity for power tools and equipment. Drilled holes were charged with slow-acting black powder, put on fuses to ignite simultaneously, and plugged so the force of the explosion went down into the stone. The explosion cracked off a neat slab of sandstone. <laughs> this is a documentary. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, God. Yes. Forming blocks. 
discover the Banning Quarry. This was the stone cutters area. Train cars brought large stones here to be split and shaped. One splitter supplied three stone cutters. Stone cutters shaped the blocks into curbing, building stones, or paving blocks. Cities across the country still use buildings, bridges, sewers, and streets of Kettle River sandstone. Though tools could be ordered from catalogs, many of the stone cutting tools were made directly on site by the blacksmiths. Stone cutters used a variety of chisels, hammers, and wooden mallets to shape the stones. Oh my God, who did that? <laughs> Jesus. Power. Discover the Banning Quarry. This building housed steam generators, an air compressor, electric generator, and other equipment. In the early days of the quarry, work was done by hand. Later, use of power tools greatly increased efficiency. The drills, crusher, elevator, and sawmill were powered by compressed air. Electricity powered the hoists for the derrick cranes. Most quarrying equipment at the time could use either steam or compressed air. Air was considered superior because it was safer and couldn't be sent far from the compressor without losing power as it cooled. Another note, this building actually burned at one point with people inside of it and is rumored to be haunted. Here we are with Stephanie and Jane. We are hiking the Quarry Loop Trail. As you've seen, we are here in Banning State Park. Someone just let gas. Don't know who it was. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> Jeez, way to cut the interview or cut into the interview to cut cheese in the interview. <laughs> <sighs> One with nature, apparently. It is a gorgeous day out here. The smells of nature are all around us. Nature and lactose intolerance. It's warm enough out here in the woods, and it's getting dark. I think it's about 5.30. The skeeters are coming out. Stephanie, what's been your favorite part so far? Mm, announcing that my beaver was barking. Jane, <laughs> what's been your favorite part so far? Well, it's been really nice, except for the walking. <laughs> yeah. I understand that. The walking can be a bit treacherous. <laughs> now, we're sitting here on this bench, and we're going to take a little break before we head to the rock wall, which is our final obstacle before we get out of this hell hole.
Well, that was quite the adventure here in the Banning Quarry. Supposedly haunted, as we're creeping into the time of uh, Halloween and scary things, something to uh, keep us awake at night, possibly. We've been through the rocky trails. We've experienced farting on a ridiculously smelly level. And we've had a good time doing it. Now we're going to hit the toilets, and uh, we're going to get the heck out of here. Thanks for watching.